I'm Laurie with Journey with the Gingers. Have you ever wondered what it's like to do the chef's table on Carnival? Well, William and I, William being my husband, are going to take you along with us as we experience the chef's table for the very first time. Before we get started, I do invite you to subscribe to our channel. We love sharing everything about cruising and travel, so we, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. We would definitely appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps our channel. So here we go to the chef's table. To begin our chef's table experience, we were greeted by Chef Vevek, who gave us a quick tour of the galley. The first area we visited was the section where all the cold food was prepared. When we got to the area that had the grilling area where there was fire, he explained to us how there is a water channel that flows below the grills to prevent fire, which is a great idea for a cruise ship. Before heading to the private dining room for the chef's table experience, we were treated to some interesting treats in the galley. Condiment caviar. So please go ahead and the beet, the beet, caviar, the beet. Put it your mushroom tea. Mushroom with chocolate. Mushroom tea. How much could it be? This is a crab. Okay. This is a mixture of a crab ball. Crab ball. It's a little crab cake. <laughs> Next, we were treated to a demonstration from one of their pastry chefs on how they make the warm chocolate melting cake. And then finally, you know, the, basically, melting salt cake should be soft in the center and inside it should be like a pudding, okay? And now we're going to share all eight courses of the chef's table with you. In the end, we will share our honest review. Okay, our next course is the Applewood Smoke Lab. I keep on reading that. It's not the same thing there. Thank you. Well, and the sauce is the lamb sauce. Besides the lamb, we have the lamb pastrami. And right on top, we have the problem cheese roll with a pickled daikon. And below that, we have the goat cheese caviar and the goat cheese crumble. And a small dish, we have the lamp neck croquet on the bed of dry yuca. Now, this dry yuca is only for decoration. Please do not eat dry yuca. <laughs> The sauce Thank is the warm cheddar cheese sauce. Oh. Besides the beef, we have the sweet potato mash. And right on top, we have the roast legs with the milk chip and chorizo dust. Please go ahead and enjoy your beef. Punch. To the top is the chocolate. 
chocolate ganache. Mm. To the left, we have the lemon curd and the raspberry curd. Please go ahead and do it. The plate what you see on the table is the patty fox. If I start from my side to the right is the bun tart custard. To the left is the chocolate brownie. And right in the middle we have the raspberry curd with the other flower caviar. Okay. Please go ahead. So we are back from the chef's table and with each food, we just put the captions of what we were eating because honestly, I don't think I could say some of the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's some of the a stuff little, that we had. Yeah, it was a little detail. <laughs> it was very detailed. So as you've watched it, you've seen the captions, so it just explains what it is on the plate. And a couple of times, you'll hear the chef explain it because I try to capture that on camera when yeah. I could because he does such, such a better job than I ever would. <laughs> so. Our final thoughts on the chef's table. I My feeling is I'm so glad I experienced it because I've always wanted to try it, but I think that would be my only time I'll experience it. It is quite pricey, but the it's, if you just want a very fine dining um, experience on a carnival, this is probably about as fine dining as you can get. And I feel that the portions were, were small, but still there's eight courses plus before we even got into the room where we ate, we were in the galley and they were giving us some things up there too. So they had the crab cake and they had some kind of beet thing on there and it was all interesting. Some things were not, I would, I would honestly say some things were not delicious. Mm -mm. But they're experienced, if that makes sense. Like we had a chocolate covered like mushroom mousse. It yeah, was just, white chocolate. Yeah, yeah, it was just interesting. I'm glad I tried it. Um, like I'm not a big person that likes lamb, but I enjoyed that the, the experience of then doing the smoking with the dome and all that. So I would highly recommend that you try it if you're adventurous with your, what you're going to eat because there are some things on there that you might be afraid of. <laughs> but we tasted everything. Yes. We did. We had some favorites. I think the sea bass was one of my favorites. Mine too. Um, the desserts were delicious. And um, there were just several things that I thought were like the crab cake when we had in the galley was really good. You did. Yeah. I like the crab cake. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I like the. Uh, the mushroom broth or whatever it was yeah it was like yeah they called it mushroom tea in yeah. the galley but it did come with wine they had a red and they also had a white and also one they give you the the little um palate cleansers and shot glasses and one of the palate cleansers was a port wine and actually that was pretty good it was sweet yeah. Um, and I'm more of a sweet wine person so it did come with the wine that was not extra it was all including the price and at the end we were given a photo of us um, that they took earlier. They brought us photos um, of all of us, portraits or whatever you <laughs> from the photo gallery that they took at the beginning of the dinner. So I thought it was a great experience. Um, the food was pretty much delicious throughout. Some of it was a little bit different for me, but I, that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to experience something different. I, I agree. I mean, it's, it's an experience that you can put on in your your journey <laughs> but it's not something I would do indulge, over, yeah I would indulge do over and over. we usually yeah. try to do a um, specialty restaurant on every cruise and this was our specialty experience so I would recommend it if you are not a very picky eater and I would recommend it if you just want something different on a cruise but yeah I'm glad we tried it yes yep. I was too so if you haven't subscribed to our channel we invite you to do so and if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up we would appreciate it and if you haven't watched all of our videos on the carnival glory take a look at them and we'll be adding more I'm sure so, so you, thank you so much for wa watching and as we always say what do we always say journey on journey on bye if you like this video, check out the video to the left where we take you to Montego Bay, Jamaica on a jungle river tubing experience. I can understand you're tired of this town and I'm not saying that we have to settle down.